So the Heidelberg is testing the pH of the stomach acid uh, because sometimes we don't know if we have too much stomach acid or too little stomach acid because the symptoms are the exact same. All right, so what we do is we put this on and what we're gonna be doing is trying to read the pH of your stomach. This thing gets swallowed. Sometimes we have a string attached to it, a special string for those who have ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, anything that we feel may be stuck in there. We don't do that. If not, we just kind of take it and swallow it like a normal one. What it gives is real time information on what exactly is going on. Are you dumping early from the stomach into the small intestines? Um, as everything staying in there is it slow. We have something called pyloric insufficiency, which means that everything's basically dumping early. Um, when we do the alkaline challenge, if the, everything comes back down, the acidity comes up quickly, then we know you have too much stomach acid. If it doesn't go down within a certain amount of time, then you don't have enough stomach acid. And this could also be a reason why some people have allergies and osteoporosis just because they're not absorbing their food, the nutrients from their food. So this is from a run uh, from a patient and this one is actually normal. So what's supposed to happen is, is after about, so they went through and they were kind of like moving a bit and stuff like that. So that's where kind of like some of these marks are for. But after we got everything situated, we gave them the alkaline challenge. After about 20 minutes, their um, stomach acid ended up recovering. We did, an, and they kind of moved a bit there. And we did another alkaline challenge and ended up going back up. So this is what normal is supposed to look like. I think everyone should have this test done as just a routine because some people may unknowingly be on antacids and they shouldn't be on it. Uh, because the antacids will actually block uh, your production of B12 from the intrinsic factor, at least the active form of it. And um, plus also they're not sure if being on the antacid is gonna make things better or not when maybe they may need to be on some hydrochloric acid because they don't have enough stomach acid. And here again, the symptoms are the same. You're still gonna get the heartburn, the acid coming up and all that stuff at night. So it's, you know, it's, some foods are gonna irritate your stomach, you know, all because there may not be enough hydrochloric acid. The benefits of the Heidelberg is actually seeing the real time and then being able to say, okay, because then we can actually dose how much hydrochloric acid a person may need or be able to put them on the proper dose as far as an antacid goes. There's hardly any side effects to it, so we have you fill out a questionnaire beforehand, so we can kind of see which method it is that we need to use. You do need to uh, not have, have eaten for it. If you are gonna be getting your test in the afternoon, you have a light meal for say like breakfast, but nothing for lunch or else it will disrupt the test.